It has nothing to do with the organization. It has nothing to do with my teammates. The last thing I wanted to create was more distractions and more hoopla. I, mean, I think we, we recognize we are going to have to for sure play without him this year. We still have myself and Kevin to lead and guys that you know, need to step up. What is being mad going to do? We still get to do what we love to do every day. As far as us, we have a job to do. A group of protesters gathered outside Barclays Center waving flags and signs while chanting no vaccine mandate stand with Kyrie before the Brooklyn Nets lost their home opener to Charlotte Hornets 111.95 on Sunday. Around 100 people stood in the plaza outside the arena and on the street blocking traffic on Flatbush Avenue, many showing support for Nets point guard Kyrie Irving's decision not to get at least one vaccination shot to comply with New York City's mandate in order to play home games. Stephen A., let me ask you this. Do you think these protests have actually made Kyrie a sympathetic figure here? No, I don't believe that. Um, <clears throat> let me say this. There were also protests going on in New York City yesterday where the Brooklyn Bridge was being blocked because to meet the requirements of that mandate handed down by the local government here in New York, if people like municipal workers, police officers, people like that, uh, you know, hospital workers, stuff like that, if they don't abide by the mandate, they'll lose their jobs. And so people, if they don't get themselves vaccinated, what have you. So people have really taken that position to heart. And they, and, and, and to be quite honest with you, even though I'm fully vaccinated, you are, you are as well. You know, there are people that, that bring concerns and it's not just black folks, it's black folks, it's white folks, it's Hispanic folks. There are millions upon millions of people in this, in this country that really, really have a big time problem with the government saying, get, a, get, get, get vaccinated or else. Because you're at you're mandating that they trust an entity they don't believe warrants their trust and what have you. So we understand that to some degree, the trepidation, uh, the, 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 you know, the, just the skepticism about things and what have you. But to me, that doesn't transfer to Kyrie because they're worried about losing their jobs and their livelihood. Mm. Kyrie is on social media telling you money ain't no issue. Don't worry about that with me. You know, he's pocketed over $200 million in his career. He's got $35 million on the table. He can take half the season off or, you know, and still end up with about 17 or $18 million this year. He's good. And so at the end of the day, they weren't making the argument to make him a sympathetic figure. They were using Kyrie's name mm -hmm. to bring attention to their cause and what they're really fighting over, because obviously their lives are going to be profoundly affected in ways that Kyrie's is not. When it comes to basketball, here's the bottom line. We look at the Brooklyn Nets. We look at them thus far. We look at the way that James Harden is struggling. And I'm not to say that saying that's going to stay the case because I believe in James Harden, but clearly they need Kyrie Irving. And when you anticipate what L.A. is going to do, when you anticipate what the Golden State Warriors are going to do, when you see the Milwaukee Bucks and the Miami Heat on the come up, Milwaukee Bucks the champion, Miami on the come up, it is clear that the Brooklyn Nets need Kyrie Irving. And if Kyrie elects not to come back, he may very well cost them the championship. So in that regard, I think the combination of everything that I just highlighted doesn't equate to him being a sympathetic figure in this. You know, I'll just leave it on the basketball court for the most part. Yeah. They certainly would use him. I mean, they need him because he's an important figure and a sure. part of what they do. <clears throat> Can James Harden and KD move the needle enough to get past the teams that you talk about? I think so, because it's still early in the stages. Right. We three games in. Right. We're having this conversation about what the Nets are three games in. Mm -hmm. We all know if Kyrie was on the floor with them, they're a stronger basketball team, no question about it. Right. Now, whether or not they can go down all the way and get to the championship and win it all, we got to wait to see that. But right. they, they're certainly a better basketball team with Kyrie. Right. Because when you have a guy like James Harden who's struggling, now you got another guy you could go to. If mm -hmm. KD starts to struggle, now you got James Harden and Kyrie to go to. Right. You got two of the three. But when you only got one of the three mm -hmm. that's performing well, you're they, not going to win. Are they beating playing. Milwaukee right, 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 right. without Kyrie? Listen, listen, listen. That's the J question Jaylen, for me. Jalen doesn't believe so. And right now, Jalen's looking very prophetic because Milwaukee, with the exception of their blowout loss to Miami, has looked very, very strong. Miami's on a come up. We can't ignore them. And I get all of that. But I want to transition, not for debate purposes, yeah. but I'm going to transition. And not just to Keyshawn, to you too as well, Molly, because I'm really interested in hearing y'all perspective on this. I want to know what y'all feel as it pertains to what, if anything at all, 
you believe Kyrie might owe the Brooklyn Nets. And by that, I mean this. He is the reason everybody's in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Okay? And when you recognize what they look like without him, if that were to continue, then you have a situation where you're looking at the Brooklyn Nets and you're saying there's a chip on the line. When KD, Harden, and various other people, from what we hear, there's a whole bunch of NBA players, maybe not them specifically, but you hear surmise, there's a whole bunch of NBA players that were very, very reluctant to take the vaccine. They just understood that the NBA said, you don't take it, you don't get to be a part-time player. You take it, you in, you don't take it, you out. Yeah. So my question to y'all would be this. What, if anything, do you all believe he might owe the cats that he got to come to Brooklyn with him? I, I don't, in this situation, I don't think he owes them anything. Okay. Because he ain't being paid, right? He right. he's already been paid for the play in the past. That right. money's already yeah, done. Is your question he earned fiscally? that money. Do you mean fiscally? No, no. no he I'm just mean. About, he just I'm mean. Just, I'm talking about getting basketball. people to come. Yeah. He got. He basically, essentially, he got KD to come yeah, play yeah, for Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and because of that, that, because of that, Griffin came. Because of that, yes, the trade right. happened with James Harden. Because of that, Steve Nash was hired. Steve Nash coach. was hired. All of those right. sort of things. Of course. So he became a key key a key a key piece of okay. what they're trying to put together. Right. And so for me, I don't think he owes them anything because if he decides that that's not what he wants to do with his body, right. that's his own right. If, if they believe, uh. okay, I'm putting it in my mm -hmm. body because I believe something different, like mm -hmm. me and you well, and Molly, Molly, I'm okay with that. I just don't want to I don't want to put that type of pressure Here, on him Here's where in I, that situation. I don't totally rock with you, Keyshawn, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so say you have the chance to have a Super Bowl on the line, yes. right? And and you're going down to Tampa, yeah, right? And you're happens. coming to Tampa, right. whatever, and that kind of thing. And then somebody decides to hold out because of the vaccine, and they're the real impetus for you heading down there, and you're the favorites and all of that. Are you really just going to be like, oh, I'm cool? I, I, yes. I don't know if yes. you'll continue to... You you might forgive them, right? But I don't know. Are you going to deal with them I, um, the same way? Are you going to have the same type of relationship once they've broken I may not have the trust? same. I may not see that wasn't the question though. Right. I may not have but the same type of relationship. Goes. That's where my but mind I, goes. I may not have the same type of relationship, but I certainly mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. his beliefs. If that's right. what he, but I can't challenge somebody's beliefs, Stephen right. A. If that's Stephen what A., that's where in, I would I can't be. Do it. That's it's, where I would be. Yeah. I, I respect it. Right. I get it. I respect yeah, how, I respect your, your listen, religion, listen, all listen. of that, but I don't Kyrie, know if I would deal with listen. you on the same level. Kyrie's godfather is Ross Strickland. Mm -hmm. Ross Strickland and I go back a Fair long Strickland. ways. I love that brother. I love him to death. And obviously he and I don't agree on this, and I'll leave it at that. But yeah. I, I got mad love for my brother Ross yeah. Strickland, okay? And there are a lot of brothers out there that have called me on Kyrie's behalf. Yes. You know, because of how strongly I, I came at Defending him. Defending him. You know what I'm saying? In, in defense of him. And, and I respect where they're coming from. Yeah. I totally understand. So I get where you're coming from. Here's where my belief is. And I joked about this on NBA Countdown when I talked about he walking around like he want to part the Red Sea. Because <laughs> Kyrie has walked into the arenas with this cane on, looking like Moses or what have you. Acting like, you know, he's a prophet or something, okay? And, and, and then... Why do I bring that up? And, and I'm half joking about it, but I'm not. I understand. Why do I bring that up? Because Kyrie goes on social media. Yes. And Kyrie says, quote, I'm not anti-vaccine. I didn't take it, but I'm not anti-vaccine. <laughs> well, then take okay, it, then, me, man. Say with me. Say with me. Say with me, because I want to get to a point here. He says, I'm not anti-vaccine. What I'm about, he said, I made a private decision for the moment. And then he highlighted how. He's making this decision on behalf of others because he doesn't like how their rights have been infringed upon. So, in other words, if you're not definitively anti-vaccine, then you're taking this principled position to speak for what you term to be the voiceless. And I'm saying that is at the expense of your brothers who need you. Now, if you are completely yeah. and totally against the vaccine and that's that and Damn it, you ain't taking it, and that's the willing, and you willing to lose the money. I'm with you. But do you feel but like he doubled that, down too yeah, much now? Yeah, so maybe even no, no, if he wants no, 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 to play, no, no, no. he, he wouldn't he, get he the He could vaccine? always come back. What I'm saying is, if he's like Keyshawn said, I'm not putting this into my body. This is the yeah. reason I've taken this stance. Yeah. Cool. That's not what he's saying. Yeah. He's saying he's doing it on behalf of the voiceless. And first of all, they ain't voiceless. There's millions of people who are against the vaccine. They're but not you voiceless. Also, but you They're also, not voiceless. But you also could right. voice your opinion. Right. 
win back. You can do both things. You can do both. You can do both things. You, you can, can help both. your team you win a championship if that's what Stephen A. is saying is the case that you're not against the vaccine. So take the shot and still. And do I'm what saying you based do. on what he said. Based on what yeah. he said, it ain't about him being against the vaccine. So if it's not about you being against the vaccine, well, KD and them are out there. They need you. Yeah. What you doing? Yeah. Now, if you're against it, yeah. KD and them ain't going to force you to yeah. put nothing in your body. Yeah. They understand. Exactly. And you're willing to lose $35 million. All right, fine. That's your business. They may not like it, but we all respect it. But he's saying, no, that's not it. No, it's a because I want to give a voice. To the voices. You can still and give a will, voice, though. You can still give a voice, give a but voice. you're willing to sacrifice being there for your brothers, and that's what I'm looking at. He brought that they came to Brooklyn to join Kyrie Irving. See, they, now, but see, that, but they, see now this, I, I know we got to move, yeah. but now it's a different conversation. Right. It's a different conversation right. now that you bring that up. Right. Because you can do both. You can right. help them conquer the I goal agree. and win a championship because I'm vaccinated right. and I'm still a voice for people that That's feel right. a certain Absolutely. way. Absolutely. I got family yes. members that feel that they don't want it. That's right. And I'm okay with and that. Swear, Just understand and, and swear, the situation. And swear there's research out there to counter you know, some of the stuff, some of the pro vaccine folks out there. Wait, and yeah, I'm like, no, it's no, okay, no. go ahead. We don't need to get, yeah. But I'm not going to challenge his religious or health belief. No, but at the end really. of the day, no. if, I, if, I'm, if I'm KD and I'm disappointed you didn't keep your commitment. Sorry. And I'm, I might not deal with you on the same level. Uh,